Come on, folks. Get on in here, man. Let's talk. Let's talk. Government, government shutdown. Good gracious of me. Now, who's the first person in here? Come on in here, folks. Come on through. Hope you guys are doing great. I'm ready to get started, man. I'm fired up. Come on in here, folks. Let's talk. I've been telling you guys for many years, man. Don't allow yourself to be in this position. Good morning, Leslie White. Don't allow yourself to be in this position. We're going to talk. Good to see Brother Anthony Wales, Davina Archie. Good morning. Good morning. Let's go ahead and get started, folks. We're going to get started because I got something I want to, I got to share with you guys, man. Are you guys ready? Here we go. If it's going to be, it's up to me to fulfill my dreams and possibilities with dedication and motivation to inspire thousands from all nations. When times are tough and breaks you down, just smile with toughness and rebuild from the ground. During tough times, adversity is a lot. Just remember, time flies, but you are the pilot. Man, we got to talk, folks. Listen, before we get into our topic, do me a huge favor. I need you guys to visit two pages. Visit J. Lee Speaks and like that page. Because I'm starting on February the 1st, which is next Thursday. February the 1st, I will start doing these videos on that page, the J. Lee Speaks page. Inspiration is going to be coming from my J. Lee Speaks page, folks. So make sure you like that page, J. Lee Speaks. All right? Also, visit jleespeaks.com. Subscribe to our emails. Also, check out my calendar under events on jleespeaks.com. You can see information there. You can see what, I'm got, what I got going on. Events that are starting to come up, take place. This is a fire year, folks. Also, visit our, our products page, jleespeaks.com. Visit products. Click on the products tab. We have t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, beach towels, coffee mugs, pillows. <laughs> we load it. We got a lot of stuff out there under our products page folks so check that out check that out hey good morning margie good morning sony brother fred children's good morning so make sure you guys check all that good stuff out at jleespeaks.com browse around take a look at our apparel all right now also visit my other page wan global llc wan global is launching the Wealth Summit Tours starting April the 21st at the Tampa Bay Wealth Summit, the 2018 Tampa Bay Wealth Summit. Good morning, Cozy Cloud in here. 2018 Tampa Bay Wealth Summit. So make sure you guys visit the Wealth, uh, visit WAN Global LLC so that you can get information on buying tickets for the 2018 Tampa Bay Wealth Summit. Now, remember, no matter where you are, if you're serious about building your wealth, you need to get to the Tampa Bay Wealth Summit. Okay? Do that, folks. Now, what I want to talk about is this government shutdown. And I'm approaching this just like I approach any other, any other employer, any other job. If this is your only stream of income, folks, then this has to be proof as to why multiple streams of income in our economy, not in this new economy, is highly important, highly critical to your well-being, to your family. Don't be selfish, folks. Listen, let me tell you something, people. Good morning, Denise George. We don't know how long this government shutdown is going to last. But here's the thing. Even if you miss out a dime because of the shutdown, 
It's, it's not right, man. You putting in all the work, blood, sweat, and tears. You got to send your kids to school. And you got to provide for them the best way that you know how. But here's the thing, folks. When you learn better, then you ought to do better. And the reason why I say this is because you have to, you have to get it in your head. This is what you have to get in your head, people. You were not born to just pay bills and die. You guys get that? You were not born to just pay bills and die. Because guess what? If that's all you think, if that's, if that's all you see in yourself, you're training your children and your children's children to carry out the same paradigm. It has to be a broken chain. Somebody has to break that chain and go a different direction somewhere. Why not be you? Jocelyn Price, good morning, cousin buzzing. Whether it's you working for a private company or the government, don't let what these people in Congress on the Hill do or do not do that would determine your life destiny or to determine where you go in your life or, or how much you have in your bank account, folks. You see, folks, a person controls your salary, controls your life. So why not have your own control over your own salary? Why not be an entrepreneur? And you ladies, guess what? If you're a good cook, you're already an entrepreneur. You need to be out there selling dinners. $10 a plate. Come on, people. You guys got to understand this, man. We're in a, we, this is a critical situation, especially if you're a, a government employee. People waiting to look at the news to see the status of the government shutdown. You want to really live your life that way? Do you really want to live your life watching the news to determine whether or not you're going to be going to work the next day or whether or not you're going to have a paycheck with all your hours on it? Do you really want to live like that? Or do you really want to take control over your life, take control over your own destiny, take control over your own money? Right? It kind of saddens me because I've been saying this, I've been talking this talk for 10 years now. Remember 10 years ago was, was when the, uh, the, the market crashed, right? This is eight, 2018, 2008 is when the market crashed, didn't it? I've been talking this talk for 10 years. And you're thinking because you work for the government that you have job security. Let me tell you some bad news, folks. There is no such thing as job security anymore. The security is you. We have to do a better job providing for our families. Stop allowing the people who write your paycheck to determine your own personal economy. I know somebody gonna get mad at that, but listen folks, don't get mad at me because of what I'm sharing this information. Let that anger be your rocket fuel. Let that anger be your rocket fuel to do what you need to do for your family. Listen, folks, you have to understand this. Your children cannot inherit your cubicle. Your children cannot inherit your cubicle but they can inherit your business. <clears throat> if I were you, if you a government worker or, or, or just an employee of any private company, 
What I would take from this, if I were you, this shut down situation, if I were you, I would say to myself immediately, this is my wake up call. This is my aha moment. This is my, <laughs> this is that time that I start thinking about doing something else. You got to start thinking about doing something else. Otherwise, your situation will not change. If you are unhappy with what's in your bank account, let me tell you something. Remember something. You the one put it there. What's in your bank account, you put it there. So if you're unhappy with it, then change yourself. Change how you are doing business with your money. Change your paradigm by changing your mindset. Thank you, Linda Martin. I always try to be there for the people. My morning rise and grind quote came from Jim Rohn. When he said, life doesn't get better by chance. It gets better by change. If you're not taking anything from this government shutdown right now, if you're not already looking towards starting your own business so that this government shutdown or future layoffs won't be a problem for you, then guess what? Shame on you, man. Really, shame on you. Because guess what? Your children is determined. Your children are detailed, depending on what you do today. Your children don't need for you to be relying on a government check or a paycheck. How, you, how can you sit here and say, oh, I want my child to, to own her own business, own his own business. Oh, I want my child to do this. I want my child to do that. And you ain't doing it. Come on, parents. Habits are often caught than taught. It's time to start, time to start thinking more serious about you and your own personal economy rather than what Monique think about Netflix and what Wanda Sykes think about Netflix. Those people are already millionaires. They can handle their issues. You got to handle your issues. You can sit back and moan and groan about Donald Trump all day, but that ain't putting more money in your bank account. Good morning, Diane Rosia, Ernisa Barnwell. You guys, I'm going to say that again. You can moan and groan about Donald Trump all day. But that ain't putting that one more penny in your bank account. And that's not putting you in no other position, no better position to leave a business behind for your children. You got to learn from this, ladies and gentlemen. What do you take away from this? What are you taking away from this? This is the universe sending you a message. Not me. It might be sending you a message through me, but this is the universe sending you a message right now. Hey, Murray Wilson. Folks, the world is a magnificent place. We have so much potential. You, you have so much potential. You have so many options to do whatever you please to do with it. If you are, if you choose to let your government job or your nine to five to be your only stream of income in this 21st century economy, I'm going to tell you right now, you are a sitting duck. You are in a world of trouble. In a world of trouble. We're probably, this right here should already tell you that we're, we're probably another four to six years away from another recession. This should already be telling you that. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Linda Martin. I really appreciate that. <clears throat> so here it is, folks. Here it is. A gentleman by the name of George Frazier 
said it perfectly. He said, we don't change when we see the light. We change when we feel the heat. See, by the time you feel the heat, you are, you've already got burned. The only way you're going to prepare for time shutdowns, layoffs, recessions, the only way you're going to prepare for this, folks, is to get started before you're ready to be started. You guys get that? If you're sitting around waiting to be ready, guess what? You would never be ready. You have to make the leap. You have to take that jump. You have to do what you have to do, folks, to put yourself in a better position so that people who write your check won't be the person who writes your life. You have to put yourself in a better position. You have to jump off that cliff and build your plane on the way down. I'm going to say that again. You have to jump off the cliff and build your plane on the way down. Whether you know how to build a plane or not, guess what happens? You're going to be forced to build your plane. Otherwise, your behind is going to hit the bottom. You see what I'm saying? You have to be forced to build your plane before you hit the bottom. Now, you have a government shutdown is here. This should be your wake-up call. This should be the aha moment. Okay, I need to determine my own life rather than sitting back, watching the news, and figuring out if the government is going to have me to come back to work so I can get paid. You don't want to live your life like that. You want to put yourself in a better position. Put your family in a better position. See, these results to people looking at their own selves and their own situations. Khadija, we were all made to own our own business. I understand what you're saying. In my book, Change Your Mind, Change Your Life, I spoke, I spoke about the first chapter, I spoke about the times. I spoke about the period. I spoke about the, 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 the Stone Age, the ages, the Stone Age. Then there were the, the Agriculture Age. Then there were the Industrial Age. Then there were the Information Age. And see, many people still think we're in the Information Age. That age is gone. We are now in the Connected Age. The Connected Age is highly favorable for entrepreneurs we all should be seeing that by now now it's not that we weren't made to be employees because we were all made to make a difference we were all made to do what the universe have us here to do and that is to be first be independent before we can change anybody else dependencies situations so here's the here's the thing folks Here's the thing, as Bob Proctor said, we were all born rich. We were all born with power. We were all born with the abilities to make a difference, to make a dent into the universe. But what happened is we got conditioned to, any, to everything that's less than that. One of my mentors, James Arthur Ray, said it perfectly. He said, you were born in the greatness but you were conditioned into mediocrity. See, that comes directly from one of my mentors. James Arthur Ray is one of the cast members from the movie The Secret and the book The Secret. Perfectly said, I'm going to repeat what he said. You were born into greatness, but you were conditioned into mediocrity. See? School system's 50 years behind or more. School system is only going to teach you how to get a job. So if that's what you mean when you said most people are made to be employees, then that would be correct. 
because they teach you in school how to be a job. They don't teach you anything about the stock market, but yet your 401k is sitting in the stock market. See? They don't teach you anything about hedge funds, derivatives, diversification, and knowing the difference between different asset classes. You don't learn that in school. You have to be an out-of-the-box thinker or out-of-the-box living person in order for you to get that type of data. So what happens is, folks, we have to train our adults to carry on this paradigm so that they can pass this paradigm unconsciously to their kids. Correct, Khadija. So what happens, folks? It's called the matrix. You've been taught to live in a system where you will heavily depend on your government. 3% of the population has figured that out. 3% of the population has figured out this money game. 3%. 97% of the population all works for the 3%. 97% of the population will probably retire broke or retire with only a $25,000 net worth. Why is that? It's because of the 40-40-40 plan. Work 40 hours a week for 40 years and only going to retire with 40% of your retirement. And many might say, well, what about the 60%? Where is that? 60% of your retirement is trading right in, is, is staying in Wall Street. Taxes. All the brokers are getting themselves richer off of your retirement. But when you retire, you're only going to get pennies of it for the rest of your life. That's operating strictly out of a one stream income. What are you going to do about it? You sh if you can cook so well, see, I see a lot of people bragging about how well they can cook, but yet at the same time uh, uh, complaining about their job situation. You a cook, you an entrepreneur, cook dinners, make enough money so that you can buy yourself a food truck. Come on, folks. There are so many ways to make money in this world. That's why you guys need to attend the 2018 Tampa Bay Wealth Summit. I don't care where you live. I don't care where you live. You need to be in Tampa Bay, April 21st, 2018, and learn from the likes of my mentor, Dr. Willie Jolly. Also learn from Brian Tracy. Brian Tracy is gonna talk about success secrets of self-made millionaires. See, if you're telling me right now, oh, I don't want to be rich, I want to be comfortable. Guess what? You would never be comfortable. Because in this new economy, you have to be rich to be comfortable. The upper class is the new middle class. The middle class will become the new poor. And the poor will eventually die. Linda Martin, I'll be back in D.C. soon. <clears throat> so here's the thing, people. Put this in the comment. Put this. I said this earlier, but a lot of new people came in, so I want you guys to put this in the comment. Put this in the comments. A person who controls your salary controls your life. Put that in the comments. A person who controls your salary controls your life. How, do, how can I prove that? You need permission to go to vacation. You need permission to get sick. You need permission to take your children to the hospital. See, you should be able to do these things. And your job wants you to let them know 
If you got to take your kids to the hospital, you got to you got to let them know if you at work and your kid gets sick, you got to let them know that you need to attend. If you want to if you're sick, if you got the flu, you got pneumonia, you got diarrhea, whatever it is you have, you need permission to be sick, to be off work. Come on, people, <laughs> don't get mad. Control your own destiny, folks. Control your own destiny. Your children cannot inherit that forklift you drive for your company. Your children cannot inherit your cubicle. Your children cannot inherit. <laughs> they can, your children can't even inherit your uh, 401k. Did you guys know that? If you pass away before before exhorting all of your 401k, that goes right back. All of that goes to the Wall Street. That don't go to your children. Your children might get a little piece of insurance policy. But if you can if you own an empire, that could be passed down to your children. Listen, folks, the, the CEO and founder of Amazon just became the wealthiest person in history with a $105 billion net worth. Can you imagine what his family looks like? Right? Now here's the key. You don't need $150 billion to set your family for life. All you need is the will to do it. See, that's the words that Warner Von Braun gave to President Kennedy. When President Kennedy asked Warner Von Braun, what will it take to land a man on the moon? Warner Von Braun replied with five words, the will to do it. You see? You can't think out of the box anymore, people. No more thinking outside the box. Nowadays, you have to live outside the box and burn the damn box down. That's exactly what it's going to take, man. Because guess what? If you're not, if you're not taking your life, your business to the next level, now, let me just say, your, I'm not going to even say your business. I'm going to assume that you don't have a business. If you're not taking your life to the next level, your family's life, your community's life to the next level by establishing in your mind a way of being a business owner, an entrepreneur. See, you have to wonder one thing, folks. You have to understand this. Everybody here has been born with a gift. You have to learn to turn that gift into a money-making machine. See, everybody want to comment on Monique and Wanda Sykes, all the stuff. Guess what? That's their gift. They're making millions of dollars off their gift. Gossiping about their situation is not helping yours. Does it? Helping their situation, you know, gossiping about their situation is not helping yours. Mm -mm -mm. See, people are getting rich, folks, two ways. They get rich off the ignorance of other people. Or they get rich by helping other people get rich. And one thing we have to realize about ourselves in America is we need to flip this thing and stop being entertainment based and start being educated, education based. I'm not saying training, I'm saying education. And when I say education, I'm not talking about formal education. I'm not talking about grade school or college. See, well, Jim Rohn said with formal education, you can earn a living. But with self-education, you can earn a fortune. You have to learn how to focus, folks. You got to read. 
You have to read. People are not reading. And it's, it's, it's been shared that most people who finish college, a high percentage of them never pick up, pick up a book again after they graduate. You have to read, folks. I don't care how many degrees you have. There are people with no degrees at all that is smoking the people who have degrees. It's not even about degrees anymore. It's about self-education. If you take a, a two, two, two UPS drivers, right? If you take two UPS drivers, And one UPS driver is mad that the fact that Amazon is going to be delivering products by drones. One UPS driver is mad at that. Oh, they're trying to replace us because they're using drones and they're using big blimps to hold products in the air. Well, guess what? One UPS driver will be pissed off at that, thinking that his job is in jeopardy. While the other, the other UPS driver will say, well, I need to go learn how to fly a blimp. I need to learn how to fly drones so that I can stay employed or stay. See, here's the thing, folks. Khadija said everybody aren't made to be entrepreneurs. Most people are just made to be employees. But even if you're made to be employee, you have to still be a valuable employee. Right? You become an invaluable, a valuable employee by staying on top of your learning. One thing about being rich or just staying in the game is that you have to commit to lifelong learning, folks. You have to commit to lifelong learning. If you don't, you will always be ending up in a situation where you're wondering if you're gonna how your check is gonna look if the government continue to the shutdown or if your job <clears throat> is going to start laying off you don't want to live in that situation did you know that MIT did a study before about heart attacks and the study results showed that most people who suffers a heart attack suffers a heart attack between five and 10 a.m. on a Monday morning. Did you know that? 80, because 80% 80 of the people goes to a job that they hate, goes to a job that they're afraid if they're gonna lose it or not. That raises stress levels, ladies and gentlemen. So what you have to understand, folks, the title of my book, change your mind change your life it should be back on sale pretty soon it's going through a republishing and a reprint because we're changing publishers but i cover all of this stuff in my book all of this stuff government shutdowns layoff i covered all of this folks you can debate with me all day but you're gonna but just remember that you're gonna debate with a guy who've been laid off five times in four years. You also going to debate with a guy who was laid off the day after his mom passed away. So if you want to debate what I'm saying to you, I'm telling you my life experience right now, but you don't even know it. But I'm telling you right now that I made a choice not to put my life in a position to where somebody got to write a check for me. I'm a boss. You need to be a boss. Folks, that's all I got. I'm, I can go all day. Y'all got me fired up. See what y'all did? <clears throat> Listen, folks, share this video. I want you to share this video. And those of you who came in a little late, please watch it again and share it. People need to hear what I just said, man. Listen, if it don't, if, if, it, <laughs> if you didn't take anything from it, I guarantee you somebody you know will. So share this video. I want to thank those who always shares my videos. Denise George, Diane Rozier, Kosi Cloud, Sister Halima, Brother George, Brother Cooper, uh, Brother Antoine Watts, uh, um, Mario Heath, Brother Demon Thomas have shared. I want to say thank you to uh, uh, Sylvia Fleming.
have shared. Thank you guys for sharing, folks. So listen, I want you guys to do me one last huge favor, and that is to sing like no one can hear you, dance like no one can see you, love like you've never been hurt, and live like it's heaven on earth. I'm Jay Lee. I love you, and the world needs you. So stop that damn texting and driving. And don't forget, February the 1st, all my videos will be aired from the J. Lee Speaks page. So make sure you like my business page, J. Lee Speaks, so you can get notified. All right, folks, thank you guys for joining me today. Thank you for our, month, our morning walk. And I will see you guys tonight on our Monday Motivational Power Talk. Peace and blessings. Have a great day.